everybody, I'm Davy. Today I'm sharing with you a rummage and garage sale haul. So I recently was on a walk and ended up finding a street of rummage slash garage sales with a friend. And so that was a really fun find to just happen upon. And then I went to a charity rummage sale where it was fill a bag for $4. And so at that particular sale, I spent $9.50 total finding some vintage wear, some clothes, just some fun things, and I'm excited to share it with you. So I'm going to start with my um, non-clothing items first, because the clothing items aren't always, to me, as fun to see. So first I found these three, there were only three for some reason. Um, vintage glass or mugs and I thought those are so adorable. I wanted some more blue and white to decorate with for Christmas season and it is made in Church Hill, England is where these are made from and just such a beautiful kind of oriental design on there. And that was at the Rummage charity sale so I wouldn't be able to tell you at all how much they cost individually because I filled a bag. Then I found these two, which have a little bit different pattern and design on them. They are also made in England and they have just a little um, ridging on there and it's just, they're so adorable. I thought those would be super cute to have for the winter season as well. The theme of blue and white. I just found a couple of these plates. I think this one goes with potentially one of the mugs I have, but I'm not sure because this is made in Japan. And then I just found these to put under some of my potted plants. These are also made in Japan because if I don't have the little trays under terracotta pots or some other ones that have open holes, then I can't have them inside. So I just thought this would be ideal for that and again that was all at that rummage charity so I don't know what those would cost. Alright at that same place I just whipped up a bunch of old wooden spoons. Now these two look very worn and I love that. Um, these other two I don't know if they're really vintage or not but just putting them in a crock for decoration something like that I just thought that would be so fun to have these. A few other random things I found, I needed a bigger uh, strainer for when I do bone broth or whatever else I need it for. And then I've been looking for a different butter dish. I have a butter ball or butter bell, but I don't really like that. So I just found this at that charity rummage. It's got some blue, a light blue there and a dark blue there. Um, the brand is, it's a false, <laughs> it's false graph and I didn't even realize that. Wow, so that was a fun find. I did not notice that, so cool. <laughs> Some things you find after you buy it, I guess. Also at that rummage, I found this piece. It is um, <clears throat> Roseville, and uh, there was a tag on there originally. It says Roseville Pottery, and they were must have been at an antique store. They're gonna sell for $20. Again, I put it in a bag, and so I got it for less than $4, and I love the blue on there. All right, these art pieces, if you didn't put things in the bag at the rummage, they were 50 cents a piece. So anything that you didn't have in a bag was just 50 cents. So I found these two pieces. They, I thought would be kind of cute, maybe in our cottage, um, fixer upper. They're kind of just farmy, rustic-y looking, dark wood frame. Um, I don't know, I just thought they were kind of cool and would... They, they do go with each other, so I thought that would be fun to hang somewhere, either in our house or in our little fixture upper cottage. Continuing in the art theme, I found this floral print here that I think I'll hang um, in our bathroom or by our bathroom or something like that with a gold frame, or it might actually hang in our room somewhere here. I just thought for 50 cents you couldn't go wrong with that, and I kind of like the gold frame. At that rummage as well, two little pegboard holders, and I want to use one in my kitchen, I think, for some 
aprons and then probably one in our fixer upper possibly for some towels or something like that in the bathroom okay at a garage sale i have been looking for corel wire that is not expensive so these four plates two are different than the other they were a dollar for four and i love corel wire if you have toddlers kids these are unbreakable i love them so much and they are um, very thin, nice to stack in a cupboard. I do have our other regular dishes too, but my daughter's starting to eat more and so bigger plates are better. I do have the small like dessert plates, but these are going to work really great for her as she gets older. Okay, now I'm to the clothes and it's going to be a mix of finding them at the charity rummage and at the garage sales. But first I'll start with these shoes. They're brand new, never worn. Kind of just fun I thought to wear and slip on. Um, here in the spring summer especially as my feet are getting a little bigger being further along in pregnancy too they were a dollar and i think they were probably made in china because they just have like the number 39 on them and so they aren't actually sized but they fit my feet and i thought for a dollar i couldn't go wrong with having these for the warmer months and they have quite a bit of cushion still okay then i'm going to cruise through some of my clothes that i found I found this SO brand dress, which I think is Kohl's. It is um, a size up that I normally wear just because it works well for, it's a maxi dress, works well for maternity right now. And it just has some blue, pink flowers on it. And this was 50 cents. The next pieces were all at the charity rummage. So this is just a robe cover. And I thought about actually taking it to the hospital. It's like a three quarter length sleeve. The brand is simply Vera Vera Wing, um, and I thought this would work great, honestly, for wearing at the hospital with a birth or afterwards too, um, just to have a robe. This is just kind of a summery dress that I found, especially when nursing, um, available for the V there, and it would be cute with a little sweater it is a little worn but if i'm out working in the garden it would be perfect it's to my knees uh the brand on this is st john's bay this is probably a vintage skirt it is to probably to my ankles but it is quite large it has a button on that side and a button on this side to open it but honestly wearing it high-waisted would be so cute it has little pockets the brand is not on here because it is an older, it is an older style skirt, but I really liked the tan. I just thought, why not, why not snag it up for putting it in a bag? All right, then I found this cute pink and blue lacy, probably handmade apron um, because it's spring. We want a little different color. You know, it would be fun to wear in the kitchen and cover a little bit more as well than my white one that I have. Okay, next items are for my husband. These shirts were fill a bag. Um, they're just some nicer, darker, oh, khaki, tan, brown. I don't know what color you'd call them. Um, they are the brand One Touch brand, OTB, I guess. Never heard of them, but in really nice condition just to throw in a bag st john's bay polo some of his other t-shirts were just getting worn so i just picked up this one um it's delta rings bun just a random vintage looking tee and then this shirt was brand new american eagle in the fill a bag and so I thought that was perfect for him to be a little more dressy as well. All right, all the next clothing items are for my daughter. This dress I found at a garage sale for a dollar. Super cute. Um, it is Ollie Rabbit. I think it is um, Amazon. <laughs> Bought from Amazon, but really cute for the summer months. Just love that. Uh, flowery pattern on the bottom there couple t-shirts because she doesn't have any yet for the spring summer i usually get clothes for her from my 
sister, but I haven't seen her in a while. So that didn't quite happen yet. Just a Cherokee brand, a little shirt, and then two tank tops. They're super adorable for summer. This is Baby Gap. And this is Wonder Kid. And this is actually a 4T, but I thought why not start picking some stuff up because she's seeming to grow fast. And this is Old Navy t-shirt. And then just three more pieces here. Just a little pair of shorts that are Old Navy. Cute little capris that are with a red bow. And they are Wonder Kid as well. And then lastly, just a jean skirt with some fun buttons. The brand is Jimboree. So, my goodness, I think total I probably spent $12, $13 for all of this stuff. And I will definitely be sharing more Rummage Garage Sale hauls for you here coming up. Um, I, like I said, I'm still looking for things for a fixed upper cottage. I've said that in previous videos and I just thought, you know, I can't go wrong with finding some of this vintage stuff at sales like that when you fill a bag. It's amazing. I definitely love garage sale season way more than going to thrift stores because prices are so much cheaper. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found. Let me know in the comments if you have had any garage sales or rummage sales in your area yet. It is such a fun time to find things that are gently used, that you will use in your house for your family. Anyways, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll talk with you in my next video.